In my 2020 Vendée Globe race, we partnered with the med tech company Aparito um, to take to carry out some research into my vital statistics while I was racing. And the paper resulting from that research has been published recently, and we shared a link to that a couple of weeks ago on our social media. Um, but Obviously, you know, we did that research not only to contribute to the body of research around female endurance athletes to help others in the future, but also to learn for me for my next Vendée Globe race. And so we're taking some of those learnings forwards into this race. Um, the basics of what we did was looking at my heart rate, my recovery times and my calorific input and output throughout the race. And there was a really key learning that has massively driven how we are managing my diet over this 2024 race. On the 2020 Vendée Globe race, I was in a huge calorie deficit. We massively underestimated both the effect of the cold, but also the long-term effect of the continued stress and, um, and physical effort of being on a boat that's constantly moving um and so i was i was uh in huge calorie deficit a lot of the time and actually i lost nine kilos through the course of the race so in this race we have been working quite hard over the last three years to understand how many calories i need um, and what form that food should take, both to make it palatable for me, but also make sure that I've got the right macronutrients within that food. And so we've changed my diet considerably. I've got a lot more food to eat. There's quite a, a lot more variety. And actually, we're putting more protein into that mix as well. But one of the other things that really came out from the research was how my cognitive ability is impaired due to fatigue. And I guess on the one hand, you would say that's not rocket science, but actually to have scientific evidence of how my ability to problem solve changes depending on how much sleep I've had. And a good example of that is actually one thing I wasn't aware of was how long it took me to answer basic questions depending on my level of fatigue and it's quite interesting to look at the data and and see the time lag uh for doing you know answering a basic question the time lag between when i'm sharp and when i'm tired is quite interesting and that's helped me to understand i need to sleep more regularly i need to prioritize sleep more but also if there's ever a big decision to make i must not make it when i'm tired